Well, hello, dear ones. Heart to heart, spirit to soul. Heal thyself. This is the conclusion of the immune system journey. Part 7. If there are important concepts in the 21st century, they are meditation, energy, visualization. Meditation clears and concentrates the mind. Visualization puts an energy into it which can profoundly affect our lives. So first, let's take a few deep breaths to relax the body and mind and to be more receptive. Inhale slowly and deeply. Then exhale slowly and completely. Allow your abdomen to rise and fall as you breathe. You may repeat this several times. Are we now awake and ready? Let's begin. According to psychologists, in essence, what the majority of people visualize is what they get, whether it's finances, relationships, health, and so forth. Likewise, what people have is the result of what they have previously visualized. Realize that the material world is subject to the mind at will, will as in willpower. Since this series is about the immune system journey in relation to health, I compiled some just few important points in the healing process. First is willpower. Health or living longer mostly depends upon persons well to live. Health or living longer mostly depends upon persons well to live. Spontaneous remission as in terminal diseases is one of the most well-known contemporary examples. Every physician People in healthcare has witnessed recoveries and recoveries inexplicable to scientific understanding. So, dear ones, let's affirm I have the willpower to live. I have the willpower to live. I have the willpower to live. This I believe in full faith. So be it. Next is positive thinking or positive attitude. A positive attitude 
or emotion, namely love, influences a person's ability to visualize and move healing energy. In the realm of metaphysics or in quantum mechanics, it says that thoughts have form and give rise to vibration of energy whether healing or the opposite. A Renaissance physician, Paracelsus, said this, that man's physical body is formed by imagination from his invisible soul and that through man's thought visualization man creates health or disease wow that's powerful man's physical body is formed by imagination from his invisible soul and that through man's thought visualization man creates health or disease and lastly dear ones the last one is to get in tune to the main source of energy or power. Get in tune to the source of main energy and power. Man has a visible and invisible workshop. The visible one is his body in the material world. The invisible one is the soul from spirit. The soul is the inner son of man. The soul is the inner son of man. It calls the form of existence. Then, dear ones, how to get in tune in spirit again as I said earlier in this series this is a work of humanity in progress might as well be the whole meaning of life the great ones would say meditate 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 and have the direct experience. Let this become a vision, not an argument. I believe that even scientists would say, these atoms themselves elude me as I try to grasp them. Paramahansa Yogananda once said this, In all of your logic, you could lose much wisdom. So once again, dear ones, let's take a few deep breaths. Please take a few deep breaths and relax. Calm the breath. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. Heal thyself. You may now Set in silence. <laughs>